Okay guys, what we got here is a Sega Saturn, and uh, I'm actually going to try to show you a repair if yours is doing this. First thing, let's grab a remote and turn the TV on. There we go, and we are set on component. Now when we hit this button, nothing at all. Not even a black screen. The disc, if you insert the disc, don't even spin. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that today. Don't mind the beautiful tablecloth. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is unhook your system from the TV or your test bench, flip your Sega Saturn over. And you got five screws. You got one here, 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 and here. You will need to remove. They are Phillips head. And I put mine over here in a little magnetic tray. They come in handy. Now you can pretty well take your cover off. You could actually pop the back off for a battery. Do it quicker, but... I'll show you that in a second. You can actually remove your battery cover and do it a whole lot easier without taking your system apart, but I took my system apart so I can watch it, make sure everything works. That's the one reason I did it, but you do not have to take your system apart. You can basically just remove your battery cover, pop this battery out, just like so. Set it to the side. Now, go try your system out. Let's go to the Sega and hit the power button. We've got power. Now let's go here and close the lid. And there you go. A dead battery was the only thing that was the matter with this Sega. Okay, this is the battery come out of the system. It's dead. It's pretty well making it unusable. we got the battery out at the moment. This is the same kind of battery, but this is for like NES games and stuff like that. And it's got these little tabs that's been sorted onto it. So you need to remove these tabs if you're going to use this battery. Okay, as you can see, it's the same part number, CP2023. CR2023. CR2023. It's exactly the same part number as what we have. And it should work just fine. All I did was use some pliers and peel the tabs off. As for the sides, it's got like a yellow plastic tape on it. You can just peel it off just like I'm doing. And now it's a replacement tab. Okay, guys. As you can see, we got the Sega put all back together now. We tested it, it works great. It's pretty simple repair if you get lucky. We actually got a composite cable here to, I'll show you right now. This old composite cable here is pretty well shot. I'm going to get a new one for it. But it's fixed, it works. It was simple and easy. I hope you enjoyed this repair video. And it is just funny how a day back So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check my channel out for more videos and content. And hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it if you do. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.